Now our studies are published, we've put together this team review. Here's the three studies on healthy volunteers that we've performed of relevance to pre-hospital pre-oxygenation of spontaneously breathing patients. Pre-oxygenation or denitrogenation is exchanging the air and nitrogen in the alveoli for oxygen to create an oxygen reservoir that's dependent on the volume of the lungs at that time and the percentage of oxygen in the alveoli. It's this percentage of oxygen in the alveoli measured by exhaled gas sampling that we focused on in these studies. With a non-rebreather mask at 15 litres per minute, we achieved an end tidal oxygen of 52%, and that increased to 67% with nasal cannulae at 10 litres per minute underneath the mask. The flow through the non-rebreather mask increased from 15 to turning the flow meter beyond 15 didn't make an appreciable difference. The bag valve mask was well sealed against the patient's face, as in this photo, with the exhalation cap over the exhalation valve, which is known to increase FiO2 in spontaneously breathing patients. The bag valve mask used in that way created an end tidal oxygen of 79% and was the highest in the four studies we ran, having nasal cannulae at 10 litres per minute underneath the bag valve mask did not make a statistical significant difference to the end tidal oxygen we achieved. But what about a leak? We created a small bit of gastric tube underneath the mask to simulate a beard or not a perfect seal as if we were distracted doing two things at once. That was disastrous for pre-oxygenation and the end tidal oxygen plummeted to 41%, came coming back to 66% if we reinstated the nasal cannulae. We looked at the flow through the nasal cannulae underneath the bag valve mask, running no flow, 5, 10, 15 litres per minute, and found that we needed 10 or 15 litres per minute through the nasal cannulae to not reduce the preoxygenation that the bag valve mask achieved. We would recommend 10 litres per minute, as there's plenty of people on the base will tell you that having 15 litres per minute underneath the bag valve mask was really quite unpleasant. Because of the exponential nature of pre-oxygenation, the first and second minute were incredibly valuable and in our healthy volunteers there was no statistical difference between two and three minutes of pre-oxygenation. So one to two minutes with a well-sealed bag valve mask and 10 litres per minute nasal cannulae held for that one to two minutes is just the time it'll take you to do the checklist. Remember this is just a small jigsaw piece in the overall puzzle of pre-oxygenation for pre-hospital care but all small pieces take time and effort, and thanks to all those who took part.